When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger, for thousands of appetizing ingredients that inspire countless mouth-watering meals. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week, and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with points. So you can get big flavors and big savings. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. Put the key in the car, turn the ignition, and listen to the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells of the Battery originally released September 7th, 2023. Hello and welcome once again to Bells in the Battery. I'm your genial host, John Bell. The Mutual Audio Network has been presenting the Summerstock Playhouse Productions all summer long. Unfortunately, I've had a very busy summer and I was unable to participate with a production of my own, although I did appear in one or two of the uh, productions produced. I felt badly about not being able to contribute this year, so I made a promise to Jack Ward, the boss of the Mutual Audio Network, yes? He's in charge. Boss, head man, top dog. Big cheese, a head on show. I promised to produce an old-time radio show in early September, which is right now, for those of you listening later, kind of as a send-off to the whole summer thing. And that's what I plan to do. He agreed to this, but he said I must have it done no more than one week from today. This is not a problem. I found a script to The Adventures of Superman radio serial, originally broadcast back in the 40s. I haven't read the script yet, but I'll do that today, deciding which characters I want Arnie and Brad to take. Then, in a few days, we'll have a rehearsal or two. Then, we'll record our voices. I'll spend the next day or two after that editing the voices, then adding the music and sound effects. I'll have it done with a day or two to spare. Uh, yes, come in. Excuse me, are you John Bell? That's me. Yes, well, I'm Farnsworth T. Huanghlegler from TPC. TPC? The Power Company. Oh, I see. No, OIC is Oil and Lawns Company. I'm with TPC. The Power Company. Yes, yes, what can I do for you? I'm here to tell you that we are going to have to turn off your electricity. Turn off my electricity? We're doing repairs on the grid. Gridiron? No. Gridlock? No. Griddle cakes? No. The electrical grid. Oh, okay, and when are you going to turn off the power? In about an hour. No power in an hour? Don't look so sour. It'll come back on again. When will it come back on again? Well, it's a big grid, so I'd say about, oh, seven or eight. Seven or eight hours? Look, I've got some work to do in days. Seven or eight days? You'd better plan to be without power for a week or a little more. But I have I have a production. I, I've got a you, they... Thank you for your cooperation. That means I need to produce this radio play in the next hour. I, I gotta get Arnie on the phone. Well, wait a minute. He's calling me. Hello? I'm a Bell. What do you need? What do I need? You called me. Well, that's because you were going to call me. How did you know I was going to call you? Mr. Bell, your smartphone listens to everything you say, so it alerted me. Oh, is this something you came up with, Arnie? Some sort of listen in and alert you later? No, no, it just comes with your smartphone. You're kidding. No, I'm Siri. Us. Okay, I'll ponder that later. Right now, I need you to get here to the battery right away. No, can do, Mr. Bell. I'm kind of in a pickle. What? What kind of pickle? Well, somebody ran into my car, and I'm at the police station trying to figure it all out. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Arnie, but I really need some help with something here. Um, Listen, uh, let me get Brad a call. Not necessary, Mr. Bell. He's right here. He's there? Yeah, he's my lawyer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But how did he get there so fast? He ran into my car. W- w- wait a minute. He ran into your car, and he's defending you from the guy who ran into your car? Don't you just love the legal system? Well, how long is this going to take? With a little luck, maybe a little over an hour. No, that's no luck at all. I, I, well, never mind, Arnie. Thank you anyway. Hey, Arnie, I think I can really soak the guy that smashed into your car. <laughs> I gotta run, Mr. Bell. They're handcuffing Brad. Wish me luck. What am I going to do? I've got to deliver this production within the hour to Jack Ward. If I fail, 
I'll be fired, washed up, a cashier, dismissed, ejected from the premises. There's only one choice. I've got to do the entire production, right here, right now, doing all the voices and sound effects with a script I have not yet read. Well, here goes. Kellogg's Poop Pep, the super delicious cereal. Cereal presents the adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding pullet. More powerful than a locotomive. Able to leap tall buildings in a bingle sound. Uh, look, up in the sky. It's absurd. It's insane. It's Superman. <laughs> and now, Superman. As we just said, events on the main line of the West Coast Railroad are rapidly reaching a climax. Oh, watch it. G rating. Speeding west out of Denver, the cracked steam li- crack steamliner, the silver clopper, the sliver clipper, the uh, big train roars up the slope of the Rockies, <laughs> headed for the San Joaquin, Joaquin, the San Pass. Disaster! Sudden and unseen lies waiting for it in Schooner Canyon Lake. While Superman wings his way through space, searching desperately for the nearest bath mountain town, he at last finds it. The town, not the bath, although there's probably one of the... Drops down from the sky and enters the local chief of police. What? Enters the local... That's what it says. In his character of Clark Kent, local news reporter. Listen. Well, you talk good. I'll say that for you, Kent. Well, if you don't believe me, fella, tone my pa- telephone my paper and ask for verification. For verific- they'll tell you who I am. Or call the division superintendent of the West Coast Railroad in Denver. The Silver Creeper, Cop Creeper, uh, the train is a West Coast train, ain't it? Well, it is now, but it won't be for long. Woo, foreshadowing. I'm telling you, if something isn't done in a hurry... Okay, but how you gonna prove it? How you gonna prove it? Huh? Suppose I get up there to the San Joaquin and and pull in a couple of guys. How am I gonna prove anything? Uh uh. I'll tend to that. You know the Circle Y Ranch? Circle what? No, why? Why what? It is the Circle Y. The Circle what? Why? I don't know. No, see, there's a Y with a circle around it. Why? Yes, with a circle around it. Just get on with it. Okay. A couple of injured train men crawled in there a while ago. Wow, wonder how far they crawled. They were on that missing locomotive, uh, locomotive, and they were tender. No, locomotive and tender. A tender is part of behind the locomotive. You don't mean it. I certainly do mean it. If you get those two men I told you about, the one who calls himself the Wolf, oh, and his henchman Kino. Hey, can a henchman be Kino? Uh, You'd think it'd be quite the opposite. Okay, let's go. The mystery is solved. Say, you begin to make sense, young man. Really? Well, okay, you, not the script. By gollies, I'll do it. Gollies? Yes, gollies. What's your plan? I need a plan? Oh, yes, I got a plan. Get a fast car and head for the crossing at San Joaquin. You know the old Schooner Canyon Junction? You mean like Petticoat Junction? Chicka 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 I'll pay for the call. Oh, I need to drop some coins into a phone here. I don't know if I can do that. What is he doing here? That'll have to do. Operator, operator, I want Perry White, manager editing of the Daily Plane. Pl- uh, Daily fl- d- d- Planet. Yes, rush it, please. I'll hold the line. Hello, White speak. Oh, wait a minute. They used to do the telephone sound by putting a can over there. Hello, White speaking. Uh, Mr. White, this is Clark Clint. Uh, Clint, uh, this is... Kent, good lord, man. I thought you were dead. I thought that for years. Where have you been all day? Tied up in a cellar, but I broke out. You need some acne cream? Listen, Mr. White, how long... That's a personal question. No, how long before you go to press? Now, wait a minute. I'm going to press right now. What are you going to press? What? 
Oh, you said you got a press. What are you going to press? No, I'm going to go to the press. What press is that? The newspaper press. What's a newspaper? Never mind. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take care of that. Well, hold it, will you? Hold what? The press. Oh, stop the presses? It's got to be a good one, Kent. Oh, don't worry, it will be the big break on the Western Railroad story. I'll call you the minute I have something. Hey, Kent, what? Oh, wait. Hey, Kent, wait. What's this about a mysterious flying figure? Something called a Superman? <laughs> oh, forget it, Mr. Whitus. You're just hallucinating. Somebody's pipe dreamy. Well, it depends on what's in the pipe. There's been a lot of talk. Well, forget it. I'm in a position to know. So long. How long? So long. Okay, good luck, Kent. I'll be waiting. Stop the presses. Relay copy. Top column on the Western Railroad and other newspaper jargon. Get a remote map. Lots of talk in the background. Oh, I don't read that part. Superman, huh? I'd say I'm in a position to know. Up, up, not much time with a wolf arr, waiting there at the canyon. If I don't get back in time to fix that wit, that switch, faster, faster. Fade out sound effects. Transition music up and out. <laughs> Uh, listen, boss, let's get out of this tunnel. I don't like it. Ah, not too long now to wait. What's the time, Kino? It's what lets us know that stuff is happening, boss. No, I mean the time right now. What does your watch say? And eh, nothing, boss. You gotta look at it. Ah, just tell me how much time we have left. Well, boss, considering your general bad health, I'd say your time was... Ah, do you know what time it is right now? Does anybody really know what time it is? Ah, tell me the timer will poke you in a snoot. Five minutes more, if she's on time. Ah, she was on time at Creeville. Eh, come on, boss, let's beat it. Sure, you get the bongos, I'll get the snare drum. What? In five minutes, or something less, this tunnel will be a most unhealthy place. A little more foreshadowing there. Ah, what do you think will happen? Ah, something resembling the end of the world. As we know it, screaming breaks. Ah! Pillows of steam. Yes. Yeah, decidedly. We should move. Ah. Well, I'll go get a U-Haul. No, I mean move like get away from here, see? Oh, where to? Ah, down the tracks, where we can observe the switch. Ah, close to the scene of the action, but not too close. But, you know, kind of far away, but close far away. Kind of like nearby, but not too close-ish. What are you talking about, boss? Uh, I'm not sure. Are you sure they can't stop in time? Uh, downhill at 90 miles per hour? Impossible, Kino. Impossible. Uh, come on, man. Get moving. <coughs> There's the train. Traveling fast, all right. If I can do anything, it's got to be quick. Ah, there's the junction. Petticoat junction. Down. Down. <coughs> Now, what have these devils done to the track? Ah, broken the seals. Uh, uh, uh. And thrown the switch, eh? Wonder where they threw it to. It's got to be around here somewhere. Well, it won't take long to fix that. I'll just uh, rip up a few of these old rails. Uh, uh, just to make sure. There, that ought to settle things. Much better the train derails than runs into something, right? Yeah, why not? Well, well, look who's coming. Hey, boss, who's the guy down by the switch, the guy in his red underwear? He's tearing up the track. Well, well what are you doing? Where's your gun? Shoot, shoot. Yeah, don't worry, boss. I'll get him. I never missed yet. Pew! Got him, boss. Well, no, you didn't. There he is. You missed him, you fool. Well, uh, never mind, boss. I won't miss him this time. Pew, pew. Well, what's the matter with you? <laughs> what was that? the sound of a train approaching. Oh. Why don't you just tell me? Oh, okay. Here comes the plane! The plane! No, it's the train! The train! Ah, oh, got that man away from there, Kino. Boss, beat it! Beat it! No one wants to be defeated! I see him now! It's the man with the red cape! Ah, oh, the train! Run, Kino! Run! Run, Forrest! Make for the car! Ah! Oh. Made it just in time. Through the switch in time. Go on, Silver Clipper! Have a highball for Salt Lake City. I mean, highball for Salt Lake City and the West. The West of those wascally wabbits. <laughs> now then, after those lads in the car. Sadly, there are no lassies. Watch it, you two. Here I come. 
I tell you, it was him, boss. The guy in the red cape. The, 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 the Superman. Ah, shut up, Kino. Whoever it was, I'll settle with him. We'll have a nice little log cabin somewhere with a little acreage, you know. Maybe some chickens. Faster, boss, faster. Get away from here. Ah, keep your head, Kino. And your arms and any other limbs. There's something about this I don't understand. Ah. Boss, look out. He's right behind us. <whistles> now he's over our heads. <whistles> now he's under our feet. <whistles> And now he's flying around in circles. Ah, what a show-off. What is that thing? <whistles> he's down the road ahead of us now. He, he's just standing there. Look out. We're going to crash. <whistles> Sorry to disturb you, gentlemen. Don't try to get away. Ah, who are you? Ah, put me down. All right. You're rather ugly and kind of stupid. Ah, stop putting me down. Hey, let me go. Let me go. One moment. Just now, while I hold you both with one hand, I've got something else to do with the other. TMI, Dap Buddy. That car, for instance. You won't need it again where you're going, and we've got to make this accident look convincing. <coughs> the car! Look what he done to the car, boss! He's wrecking it! Now, no one will ever ride in that again. Ah, here comes a car. It must have heard the crash. Must be the police. I'm making a lot of assumptions here. Well, so long, gentlemen. I'm leaving you now. And if I ever hear of another train wreck, sort of like this script, just think about what you've missed this time. <laughs> Oh, criminy, the chief speaks here, and I've forgotten what voice I use for him. Ah, who's going to know? This must be where that crash was, considering there's a crashed car here and all. There's a couple of guys laying in the road. Oh, should that be lying in the road? Ah, I don't lie. He's lying, he's lying. Grab them, boys. Hey, let go. Oh, no. Get them, boys. I wouldn't wonder if these were the two fellas the newspaper men was talking about. They tried to make a getaway and smashed up. They're smashed. Ah, I've only had a few drinks. Ah, they look where that car got to. Ah, man, it looks like a cyclone hit it. Man, doesn't it? Man. Or it could be that Superman they've been talking about. <laughs> Good evening, Chief. Say, there you are. It's the reporter. Well, howdy, Mr. Kent. Well, I see you got them all right. Yes, 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 but there was no train wreck. <laughs> I guess we scared them off. Keep him off, keep him off. We done it, we done it. Put me in jail, put me anywhere, but don't let that guy touch me again. He's kind of creepy. He came flying through the air. Say, he's nuts. Okay, he's nuts. Off with his head. No, wait, this off his head. But that was a confession if I ever heard one. Yes, and if you'll drag the bottom of Schooner Canyon Lake, you'll find that missing engine and tinder. I don't need tinder. I'm a happily married man. Well, congratulations, Chief. You've caught the train wreckers, all right. Takes to you, Mr. Kent. Hey, 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 where are you going? I've got to get back to town. Or at least a local telephone booth. My paper is waiting for the story. See you later, Chief. <laughs> Well, well, Kent, it's fine to see you back. You certainly made big in a good way. I mean, good in a big way. Thanks, Mr. White. And to show you what I think of you, I'm going to start you right out on another assignment. What? Assi ass assignment. Oh, thank you, Mr. White. That's the best news I could possibly hear. Well, maybe not the best news. The best news would involve Lois Lane, a nice starry night, and four gallons of Rocky Road. Well, wait till you hear it, my boy. There are one or two things I want to ask you about first. Yes, sir. I know it sounds foolish, but all these rumors about a mysterious flying figure and a red cape and underwear and all that. Do you know anything about this, uh, mm, uh, uh, mm, what should I call him? Uh, ooh, Superman. Do I know anything about this Superman? <laughs> Chief, what a quilly silly question. Oh, all right. I want to talk to you about your next assignment. Just pull up a chair. 
All right. I said pull it up, not pick it up. Oh, and you picked up a sofa at that. It's pretty big and heavy, isn't it? Um, I've been working out. <laughs> oh, confound it. I told them not to distribute. Uh, it disturbed me. Click, click. City room, white. And white is a lovely color for the city room, boss. Oh, I need my can. Oh. Oh, oh, come here, come here, you. <clears throat> so, you captured the wolf, my friend, <laughs> for all the good it will do you. The, the wolf had a master, and, and the master speaks to you now. Where's the master? Oh, I'm the master. I'm speaking to you now. Wait, who is this? I just told you. Aren't you listening? Kent, get over here. My compliments, Mr. My, my compliments, Mr. Kent, on our first and last performance. What do you mean? Has the show been canceled? No, you and your newspaper have interfered with my plans in exactly 24 hours. And this time tomorrow, you and your newspaper will be blown into a thousand fragment, 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 fragment pieces. This is the yellow mask. Goodbye. Thank you. How do you hang this thing up? Oh, hey, dang it. Wait, operator, what's my line? No way, that was in the last episode. Hold this line. Who was that man? Find him and trace him. Find him. Hey, bud, I'm just an operator. I don't know how to do that sort of stuff. You want a line traced? Call Dick Tracy. Who is the eerie voice calling Perry White on the phone? Who or what is the yellow mask? And can Clark Kent, without revealing his identity as Superman, solve the the mystery in the newspaper office, which is nice and white? Terribly deadly disaster for the deadly planet. And Superman Superman has 24 hours time. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time. Same bat... No, wait. uh, Same super time. Same superstition. Superstation. And follow the adventures of Superman. Uh, wait. That's the big thing. Boys and girls, be sure to follow the adventures of Superman. Brought to you every Monday through Friday. Same time, same station. By the makers of that super delicious cereal. What's the cereal cereal? Kellogg's Pop. Poop. Pep. Superman is a copyrighted feature. Oh, dear. Appearing in Superman DC Comics. This is the Mutual Broadcasting Systemic. Oh. If you made it this far, you have been listening to episode 316 of Bells in the Battery. Copyright. Mr. Bell, we're back. And I just found out I've sued myself. We're ready to do that Superman thing. Well, uh, we may have just enough time to... What's going on with the lights? Although it's kind of a cool strobe effect. Oh, dear. I think I only have enough time to say copyright 2023 by John Bell Creative, LL... See? Nope. Can't see a thing.